Now to a developing story in Miami Shores controversy where the village's mayor and vice mayor say they are getting threats. Local Tens Laren Livingston is live with what he's learned so far. Laren. And Louis, one of the first calls I made was to Miami Shores police. A commander tells me that these threats are being taken seriously as threats to citizens and public officials are always taken uh, seriously. And they say they will not be tolerated. And it appears that all of this is the result of someone taking quote unquote village politics to an extreme and that someone doesn't even live in the village. In the subject line, a misspelled homophobic slur in the message body, the sender repeats it, writing, they're the, quote, filth of the world and calls the recipient an animal. While I continue to get bullied and harassed on social media and otherwise, uh, I will not resign or step down because I think it's important that uh, I stand my ground and that the community see that they're not going to be able to do this. Miami Shores Vice Mayor Dan Marenberg, who is gay, spoke with us on the phone. He says he came across that message on March 24th in his official village inbox. Interestingly enough, he says it comes after he publicly expressed his opinion on the city's comprehensive plan, specifically what future development will look like in the shores. It recently came under scrutiny from the village council and residents. Since the comprehensive plan amendment process started, the amount of uh, unsubstantiated rumors, gaslighting, and, uh, and just outright attacks on elected officials has crescendoed. Miami Shores police say the person they say is behind the message, a 49-year-old man named Morgan Nordone, used to live in the Shores years ago, but now lives in North Carolina. We're told detectives are working the case and that those responsible will be held accountable. And we also reached out to the Miami Shores mayor, Mayor Sandra Harris. She is a black woman and she too, again, received at least one threatening message from the same person that sent that message reportedly to the vice mayor. We've not heard back from the mayor, but as soon as we do, we'll let you know what she has to say on this. We'll also let you know on the police investigation should anything come up. We're live here in Miami Shores, Lauren Livingston, Local 10 News.